We turn now to the race for the White House as candidates were out in force yesterday with only 51 days left until the election. Vice President Kamala Harris was in Washington while former President Donald Trump was in Las Vegas. Bradley Blackburn has the latest. At a campaign stop with members of the Las Vegas Police Protective Association Saturday, President Trump wanted to focus on his support for law enforcement. I'm with you guys all the way, uh, all the way. Yeah. But he we continued no to face questions about his comments during the debate. In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in, they're eating the cats. The claims about Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio have been debunked, but the bomb threats the city has faced in recent days are very real. Did you denounce the bomb threats in Springfield, Ohio? Uh, I don't know what happened uh, with the uh, bomb threats. I know that it's been taken over by uh, illegal migrants, and that's a terrible thing that happens. In Washington, at a Congressional Black Caucus event with President Biden, Vice President Kamala Harris kept the focus on Trump. Donald Trump and his extremist allies intend to take our nation backward. They will give tax breaks to billionaires and big corporations, cut Social Security and Medicare, and end the Affordable Care Act, which the CBC fought so hard to pass. In Wisconsin, her running mate, Tim Walls, headlined a rally. We need to do our job for the next 52 days. While Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, hit the field at a North Carolina stadium. The clock running down in the battle for the White House, with the candidates racing to the end. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.